The sunshine helping to ripe tomatoes in gardens across our area. But in one tomato field on Long Island, no one is picking them. Instead, they are fueling groundbreaking research into bigger yields and better medicines. Carolyn Gussoff explains. Field is bursting with fruits and vegetables that will go uneaten. Their food for thought. Tomatoes on the vine, one branch. Tomatoes on the vine, two branches. Researchers at the renowned Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory have documented more than 35,000 tomato branches over three years. We've been interested in identifying genes that when they don't work properly, will change the tomatoes on the vine so you don't have just one vine, but you could have two, three, four, ten, twenty vines. And they've identified the genes that control how many flower branches the tomato plant produces. More branches mean more flowers and more tomatoes. The fruit of their labor, gene-edited tomato plants bursting with blooms, yields vastly increased. This is yeah. extraordinarily That's branchy, branch. right? Exactly, exactly. So, so you've created this. Yes. Their breakthrough, just published in Nature has implications for fine tuning plant breeding and also human medicine. Understanding interactions between genes is extremely important in human medicine, and it's extremely important in understanding how drugs work, both for treating. Uh, hereditary diseases and for treating diseases like cancer. Understanding how gene mutations interact in plants can potentially reduce side effects in medicine. We're creating genetic knobs that allow us to tune traits in a precise way. These tomatoes will be left on the field to feed the future of science. Cold Spring Harbor Lab fields are actually famous for breakthroughs. It was here in the 1940s that lab pioneer Barbara McClintock discovered jumping genes in India in corn. She ultimately won the Nobel Prize. In Cold Spring Harbor, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS News, New York.